Okay, we're here with another wood carver, uh, Dan Finley, and he is uh, going to explain some of his carvings. We did an interview with him at the Joanna's. Uh, yes, the, right. That was about a year or so ago. Uh, I can't remember exactly when. But explain to us, Dan, what you're working on, or what you're. This was a piece that I just did here that I got a ribbon with. Um, the cigar Indian. Um, it's carved all the way around the back here. A lot of nice detail on it and stuff. All right. Um, it's all made of basswood. So a fellow told me I should have cut the top off and put a hinge on it and made a box out of it that it would have lifted up and you could have put your cigars in there. Well, you can always but, revamp it later, maybe, right? Yeah, right, right. And that's all from a block? Um, it's two pieces. Two pieces? Yeah. Okay. They're, they're uh, wood glued together, and I, I usually wood glue and peg them together. Okay. Because it makes a stronger bond. <laughs> all right. Very good. And all your all your pieces are from the from the corner or not? Um, most of them I are primarily from, from the corner. You know, a lot of them are my own designs. It's the same face with different hats and different outfits on. Cigars. Pretty much got started with that Tom Wolf Some of these book, car How to Carve Santa Claus is on the corner. Yep. I can't put them on that, 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 That's like the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. I mean, the, Absolutely. I mean, and that, I remember Somebody seeing the um, wow. Penguin uh, hockey player. Oh, right, right. Yep. You're yeah. doing yeah. You doing know, caricatures of all kinds. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of mix it up. You can't just all carve one, one thing. It gets you know? boring if you do, right? Right, right. And the, the pirate, very good. This this dragon here, I just uh, I just finished this up. I actually carved, cut the blank out 15 years ago, and it's from a Tom Wolf book. Okay. And uh, I made a full size one and had this blank sitting in a box for, like I say, 15 years, and I just finished it up, you know, recently. And brought, brought it down for the show, so looks great. It turned out pretty nice. Yep. I'm just gonna go over these a little bit. Oh, you got a leprechaun. Yeah. Yep. You're that's selling a, the leprechaun, are you? No, that's that's my father's leprechaun. It's actually a Floyd Radigan rough out from up at <laughs> Cherry Ridge. Has all these things yeah. that you have from uh, the Honesdale Northeast Wood Coverage Roundup. You're planning to attend that this year? Yep, I'll definitely be there. Are you teaching? No, I'm not teaching, but I'm still a student. But uh, no, I think you could definitely start teaching. I think people should definitely go up there. It's a good, good opportunity. But it wouldn't go within. And you do relief carving as well, right? Yep. I see that. Another thing I learned at Hollingsdale. Oh. Now, are you using gouges with that, or what are you using? I'm using gouges and knives. And this carving here is my daughter's relief carving. Awesome. She actually got a first place in a youth class for that, so. Oh, nice. I helped guide her through it. And yeah, it's in it. She came up with original design on paper, and we carbon copied it onto it. Oh, that's great. She did all the carving and painting herself, so. She did an excellent Not bad job. for a first carving, though. And how old is she? She's 11. 11. Wow. Wow. That's that's a great hobby to, to pass to Something your to pass kids. Down. She, she'll be third generation. Is that right? Oh, really? That's right. My father's a carver. That's right. Who are you? Oh, that's me. I've never been around. I've got to check. Yeah, what pattern, but I'm making one. Hey, you had a king. All right, well, thank you so much, Dan, for your interview, and you're okay with me putting this on YouTube? Yep, sure. Oh, sure. Thanks a lot, man. All right, bye-bye.